So this is an example of what you can make um, pixel art in Blender. And it's basically just rendering to a really low resolution. Um, and all of these characters are shadeless. Um, you can see they're very simple meshes with uh, subdivision surface on. Um, very simple armatures that allow for easy animation um, and then they get rendered down into something like this which you can use for game art or game inspired um, pixel art animations they end up being very small and easy to handle GIFs so um, first I usually use an orthographic camera to capture these Um, and you want to pick that last example was 90 by 90 pixels but um, just as a reference um, an NES is 256 pixels wide the entire screen was so uh, characters are going to be pretty small if you're going for that style so um, right now if I rendered it it's going to be really blurry added something in there. Um, it's going to be really blurry and I don't like that shading. So the important part is to turn anti-aliasing off and to have the camera orthographic, which isn't necessary but makes for the best uh, look for this style. And then you can use tune shading but for most of the time I uh, just make material shadeless and you can pick whatever color and have it restricted to that um, color scheme. So now we've got really simple pixels um, and we can animate this and it will render down and the, the pixels will remain constant if we were to move this across. Um, and you can, when you're making your characters, you want to remember that anything smaller than the view of that pixel is basically going to disappear. And especially if it's being animated, while it moves through that area, say if I make a really thin line of some other material. make it thin enough. I've only got, this is only 64 pixels tall, so if I render this, it's basically invisible, and while this object moves in animation, at some point it's going to get close enough that that red line is rendered, and it's just going to jump in and out of existence in one frame. So you don't want that to happen. Um, so the smallest smallest elements of their own color should be at least a little over a pixel wide. In the other example, the, these characters' eyes are one pixel high. And that usually works out because they're slightly larger than that. So when it's turning or leaning down like this, uh, it still shows up well until it's completely out of view. Um, and sometimes it doesn't really matter, like with these balloons, there's so many particles that um, they just become too small and disappear, and that worked out pretty well. Sometimes they came back in and out of existence. Um, that's just something you have to deal with because it's all rendered. Um, Another thing you can do, which I did here for these um, imitation of NES characters, um, a lot of old game art is drawn around like this because the color palette was so limited. Um, so there's this big contrast with the outline. Um, and you can do that with freestyle, even with this low resolution stuff. Um, I 
always have terrible colors in these tutorials. Um, you just have to find the right line thickness for whatever resolution you're at. So right now it's going to be way too huge. And that will get rendered in just the right way, just the same way. And it'll be, um, you can show edges and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty nice. And also I said you could use tune shading. And that ends up working pretty well, but it has to be a certain way or else it's going to look pretty bad. Um, you definitely want to use a sun unless you want to set up all the, oops, all the lighting a certain way. Um, maybe this isn't the best object to do a demo on. So I'm going to change the shading. This doesn't look very good at all, so... Um, so I want a two-tone like that, that other character I showed you was. You have to turn this up so that there's, n there's you don't really want any black in the background. Um, and you want to turn the smooth down all the way, so it's just two straight colors, depending on where things are. And if I turn this around, the shading will still obey the laws of uh, lighting, but um, it looks pretty bad on this box, but you can create characters uh, that look pretty good with their environment this way. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you're doing game characters, you want to make the background transparent, but that's about it.